Hey, sprinting away from the 1,000 meter marker, hot and roof was slow to go, so was Bacino. Chanel Elia, one of the first out of the gate, and Glitter and Gold's right there. Rose Moon, the yellow headgear, moves into second, keep on cruising back forth. In fifth place is Rose Dance here. Talia Al Ghul's the orange cap on the outside of runners. It's racing about three or four lengths off the leader. And then we drop back to Hot Tin Roof as they come into the home stretch. And a long way last, Pacino. So as they turn for home, and that leader, Chanel Alia. Back in second is Rose Moon. Towards the inside of that, keep on cruising. Talia Al Ghul's come out for a run. Rose Dance is going to have to make through down the middle of the track. Chanel Alia, keep on cruising. Talia Al Ghul and Glitter. And gold is still right there. Glitter and gold and Talia Al Ghul as they come to the last hundred. Talia Al Ghul now and down the inside. Glitter and gold. These are the two. They're having a good struggle. It's getting mighty close as they come down to the line. Talia Al Ghul won it. Second will go to Glitter and gold. Then came Rose Dancer and Chanel Alia. Right, so number four, Talia Al Ghul is the winner. It's the master of my fate. 109 days off the track. Paul Gadsby, Warren Kennedy. Charlene, in your interview, just ask Warren, did the saddle move? I saw him looking down two or three times. I could be totally wrong, but I saw him looking down. Maybe the saddle slipped back. Second goes to number nine, and that is Glitter and Gold. Rose Dancer, Chanel Alia. The tote favourite was the winner, number four, at two rand. So as we look at this, the winner's on the extreme right-hand side, and this is for Paul Gadsby and the Williams and Partners, and for the Chetties and Vanessa Williams, and it's on the left-hand side. Telly Ghul, the master of my fate, for Aris Del Carmo, and they end up winning a close decision from Galita and Gold, who I said looked very well on the nice way to the start, pays up at 2.60. That's it for the first race. We'll speak to you for the second. Until then, back to the studio. So the warm favourite, number four, Talia Al Ghul, the master of my fate, has come through despite hanging around very badly and from the Paul Gatsby stable. Now, thanks very much. During the week, you gave the confidence. You said she should win this if she didn't get into that million rand race in Gauteng. Yes, correct, Joel. And, you know, obviously we had to take a chance and nominate her for the million. Um, it's probably a blessing that she never got accepted um, because she probably, you know, the travel might have just, you know, got her beat. And um, racing locally, it's a bit easier for her. Um, having said that, she hasn't been here ever, you know, so that's why she was battling to corner a little bit. And then she's got the one issue with the one fetlock that um, we've got under control at the moment. And John, thanks to owners Ashley in Joburg um, and his son Lloyd for being so patient, waiting for it to come right again. And Vanessa Williams, who's in um, Mauritius at the moment. And obviously um, Dr. Dina and his wife Villa. Thanks very much for the support and the lovely owners to have in the yard. And uh, also make mention of uh, Hollywood Bets, our sponsor. Thanks so much. A good group of guys to be involved with. For the guys who didn't see the show this morning, your runners coming up later. How are they doing? Yeah, they will. I, I think they'll be in the money. Um, Sarabi is well weighted. Uh, she should be there, thereabouts, if she gets a bit of luck. Sometimes she's slow away. And then Isla Morada, I think she should be in the first four and hoping for a win. Appreciate it. Much, uh, yeah, thanks very, thanks very much, Alden. Thanks, Bob. Now let's get Warren Kennedy into the picture. Now, my dad was asking, did the saddle slip? What went wrong? You're telling me very green. Yes, yeah, first time you had Gravel, she, she didn't want to take the corner at all. Hence, I was, I was leaning onto one side, trying to help her take it, and saddle slipped slightly to the side, so I just had to keep an eye on it. She's very narrow, so I, I couldn't force the issue of her to get in more, because if I did any more, the saddle would have gone. So I just had to play with the cards I was dealt there, and um, just had to wait for it to balance out down the stretch. She, she didn't corner well, so she didn't turn in straight really balanced, and I had to just wait for her. Keegan loomed up, and when I asked her to run, she gave me a little kick. She's still all legs, this filly. When you ask her the last 200, the legs go everywhere. Um, she gets very unbalanced very quickly, so she can improve definitely. So big well done to Paul and to the connections. Your ride's coming up. A horse like Black Ball probably stands out? Yeah, Black Ball's probably my next best of the lot. Um, same sort of field he's bumped, really. You know, uh, he won well last time. It's the same horse comes to the course today. He, he should win a race like that, Sheldon. Um, yeah, got to keep an eye. Maybe the Dazzler's got, got improvement. He's run against quality. So it's not a cut and dry race, but he is probably my next best. We'll keep it in the family for the Van Zales either way. Yeah, yeah, it'll be lovely. You know, nice that must, any of my stables win it. It's fine. But um, also a special shout out to the newlyweds, uh, Warren and Candice Linferna. 
you know, lovely they got married yesterday, so very happy for them and congratulations. Super. Thank you. Then the winning groom, his name Mpu Mkweta. Mpu Mkweta, you can come through, get your thousand rand token. Well done for looking after Talia El Ghul. And number four, Talia El Ghul getting the bit of exchanges, despite racing very awkwardly around the turn, wins that close decision.